Hey crew, welcome back to the channel. The other day I made a video called These Model Trains Are Worthless, and it was a video I really enjoyed making and got a lot of interesting comments on, so I thought why not make a part two. Again, if you're a fan or a collector of these items, this is not meant to offend in any way. This is coming from the perspective of someone who owns a small model train store and makes part of my living selling model railroad equipment. These are items that I just don't see people buying and that I consider to have little to no value. So without further ado, let's look at some trains. Tyco is a very interesting brand, at least to me. I'm a big fan of 80s music and pop culture, so for that reason alone I'm a big Tyco fan because of their status as one of the big HO toy train manufacturers of the decade. If you've seen the last episode of this series, you may remember that I talked about toy grade HO trains not always holding value but Tyco actually has a number of items that will go for a significant price and the brand has a strong cult following even all these years later after halting production in 1997. However, they have a few products that I find to be completely oversaturated and therefore pretty much worthless. One of these is the ever popular Santa Fe F7. Despite it being a legendary and famous engine in real life, this model and paint scheme is very mass produced in HO scale and everyone has one, and no one wants another. Another piece of Tyco rolling stock that I'm never able to move is the Union Pacific Gondola. This is one of Tyco's freight cars that appeared in just about every train set the company made, and due to the high volume of them in circulation, there isn't much demand for this car. Most other Tyco products I actually don't see sit on my shelves for too long, but there is one thing that I have so much of and have no interest in getting any more of, and that is Tyco track. In fact, this statement goes for most used model railroad tracks that don't have built-in roadbed, so let's talk about that. Used model railroad train track, aside from styles with built-in roadbed like Cato, Bachman Easy Track, and Lionel Fast Track, is worth nothing. I have bins and bins and bins of old Tyco and Bachman HO track and Lionel 027 track and it is without a doubt the longest shelf sitter item I have. I even have some brand new in box tracks from these companies and it just doesn't sell. The poor build quality and material choice of this track alongside the technological advancements made within the industry in the last couple decades makes old rusted out track like this obsolete and therefore really worth nothing to a consumer, collector, or serious modeler. I have this style of track marked for a quarter a piece and it still doesn't sell, so that should give you an idea of the value or lack thereof we're talking about here. Now here's a topic I didn't touch on at all in the last video and definitely regretted not talking about once I uploaded it, and that's Thomas and Friends merchandise. Most Thomas merchandise actually has held up its value remarkably, and people will pay top dollar for a lot of Thomas merchandise, specifically some items in the Tomy, Trackmaster, and Wooden Railway lines. But I draw a line to the exact point when Thomas merchandise stopped retaining value, and that would be to when Mattel bought out the company in the early 2010s. Immediately following their buyout, Mattel made some cost-cutting changes to the way Thomas toys were manufactured, and well, to put it bluntly, no one wants new Thomas toys. The classics from my and probably your childhood are worth a ton, but unfortunately new, you know, 2013 or onward models are not worth anything. Nobody collects them because there's no collectible value, and nobody plays with them because they're not made very well. I sell the old school stuff all day long, but the new Trackmaster engines, even at a dollar a piece, do not move in my store. Well there you have it folks, there's a few more model train items that I just don't think hold any value in the resale market, and I personally have a very hard time selling in my store. To recap, the items we discussed in this episode are Tyco's Santa Fe F7s, the Tyco Union Pacific Gondola, both the 2923 and X159 models, used roadbedless track, and post-2013 Thomas and Friends trains. Let me know if you'd like a part three and I will make it happen. Until then, thanks for watching this episode and I'll see you guys in another video real soon.